In this video, I'll talk about the best budget graphics cards that you can buy right now at the beginning of 2022. We all know going into the market right now, it's really expensive and that's why I took my time to do my research and show you guys what I think are the best graphics cards that you can buy for every type of budget until $600, which is I think expensive, but believe me, that is worth it buy and you will see this at the end of the video. But for now, I'm going to show you the best, most affordable options until we get there. So you will have a graphics card basically for every type of budget if you are working with a tight budget actually if you are working with a high-end budget let me know in the comment section and i will help you out and you will have the link to all of these graphics cards down below in the description and the most important part you will have a private pc next to the graphics card in case you want to buy a whole gaming pc with the graphics card already in the gaming pc and with that being said let's start with the video now with the first GPU we have the GT 1030 at around $160 but first let me explain in which case I recommend you buying this graphics card. I recommend you buying this graphics card if you want to buy a temporarily PC build that has a GPU that is not integrated graphics so you must have a processor that doesn't have integrated graphics because if you want to build your own PC I think integrated graphics are going to be actually a better option than the GT 1030 you're going to get a better performance and for future upgradability is going to be the same so if you're thinking of buying this graphics card and you have like a ryzen 5 56 hundred g or a ryzen 7 57 hundred g in it i don't recommend you buying this graphics card but if you have like a night 3 12 100 or just any cpu that doesn't have integrated graphics then i think this is a good entry level graphics card for the price you're going to be able to run games at 1080p 60 fps on average and i'm talking about competitive games now if you want to play higher end video games like gta 5 you will be able to run them at about 60 fps if you lower the settings and of course I recommend you saving more money and try to buy another graphics card if this is your final product graphics card but if it's in the meantime gaming desktop and once again you don't have a cpu that has integrated gpu this one is the one to go now i think this next one it's one of the best graphics cards in the list, but I put it here because it's a pre-owned graphics card and it's a GTX 970. Now, I really recommend you buying this graphics card pre-owned for around $200 or you can actually get it below $150, which is going to be actually cheaper than the 1030 and it's going to be a much better option. But the thing here is that you have to be careful and you have to check the product ratings and make sure that this graphics card wasn't used for mining because if they use this graphics card for mining then it's not going to be good at gaming believe me so you have to keep that in mind now do i recommend you buying this pre-owned graphics card i do but you have to check the product ratings first and check the reviews on this graphics card and how it performs at gaming now i will leave you down below in the description a 200 dollars listing from ebay that i think is going to perform great and it's pre-owned now if you are willing to take the risk it's going to perform much better than the 1030 and it's actually going to perform similar or even better than the 1650 speaking of which is the next one on the list where we have this msi ventus geforce gtx 1650 for 350 dollars now of course it's going to be much more expensive than the gtx 970 because it's not a pre-owned graphics card this is brand new and for the price that you pay 350 dollars of course is way more expensive than before but knowing the market nowadays i think it's actually a really good option if you don't want to buy a pre own graphics card and it's going to be able to run every single game at 1080p 60 fps average depending on the settings now this is really important because you won't be able to run high-end video games on the highest settings that is not going to happen but if you lower the settings properly you will be able to average 60 fps in almost every single game of course there are going to be some exceptions like red dead redemption 2 and games like fly simulator but for most of the games gta 5 and competitive games you're going to be able to average above 60 fps and for competitive games like CSGO, this graphics card is going to be way more than powerful to average more than 144 FPS. But you have to keep in mind that the graphics card is not the whole PC, so don't expect to put this graphics card and average more than 100 FPS in games like CSGO because some games require more CPU, other games require more RAM, and other games are GPU dependent. So first, search your favorite game and try to see if it's CPU demanding, GPU demanding, 
or RAM demanding. Because games like Fortnite are more CPU and RAM demanding, games like CSGO are CPU demanding, and games like GTA 5 are more GPU demanding. So keep that in mind before buying any of these graphics cards, because you have to keep in mind that it's the whole PC that matters, not just the GPU. Now for $500 you can get the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1650 Super. Now this one is going to be a way better option than the 1650. You're going to be able to average more than 60 FPS in higher settings in every single game. So if you're searching for 60 FPS average experience in games like Red Dead Redemption 2, medium to high settings, this one is going to be the one for you. And also for competitive games, it's going to have an impact of course on the FPS part. So if you're thinking of buying a high 44 hertz monitor, which I have a video about monitors that you can watch in the top right of the screen. And I also have a video about the best PCs in case you don't want to get complicated with this graphics card stuff you have my video about the best pcs of the month that you can watch in the top right of the screen with that monitor video but what i'm saying is if you want a 144 hertz monitor this gpu i think is an entry level for that monitor like i wouldn't go any lower than this for that type of monitor now do i recommend buying this graphics card if you have 500 dollars and you can't spend any more than that then yes but if you can spend a little bit more than that and i'm talking about an extra 100 dollars or 600 you can get what i think is is the best GPU right now in terms of price performance in the whole market. Like seriously, this graphics card is going to be your best option while building a PC on a medium end budget. And I'm talking about the MSI RX 6600 XT with 8 gigs of VRAM. This graphics card, of course, is going to be able to average 60 FPS in every single game at 1080p. But not only 60 FPS, it's going to be able to average 240 FPS in those competitive games. And you will be able to run every single high demanding video game at 60 FPS on the highest settings and it's going to be way better than the GTX 1650 Super and I'm talking about a 57% better in the overall score of the graphics card and it's actually going to be better than the RTX 3060 which is impressive for the price considering that the RTX 3060 is around a thousand dollars so you're not only saving four hundred dollars but you're actually gaining performance out of it so if you're thinking of buying a graphics card then I think this one is by far your best option for gaming in 2022. I'm going to keep updating you guys with this type of videos anyway, so if you want to see them, make sure to subscribe, but most importantly, hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content, which I do from three to five times a week. So that was my whole list. Let me know in the comment section if you think that I was wrong at any point of this video and why. I really appreciate you guys when you actually give me better options for me to put it on the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.